Investigators don't know if Major Hassan's faith played a role in the attack at Fort Hood. But he told his family he felt harassed as a uniformed Muslim. And tonight, Jacqueline Sitt introduces us to an Oklahoman with his own controversial views about Muslims in the military. Across a world wide web, many are calling to ban Muslims from the military. Here in the Metro, an Oklahoma freelance writer says, quote, what the Fort Hood attack does is further strengthen the case for the honorable discharge of all Muslims from the United States Armed Forces, regardless of the degree to which they may adhere to their faith, end quote. How many bands of marauding Catholics do we have going around killing people in the name of the Pope? How many bands of marauding Mormons do we have going around killing in the name of Joseph Smith? We don't. Almost every single terror-style attack in the United States since 9-11 has had a Muslim connection in it one way or another. It's that thinking that provokes major concern in the Muslim community, 12,000 strong in the metro, all on guard for any potential backlash. When people read and hear such things, all that does is stir up hate, and, and we are against that. And um, as far as taking Muslims out, this is very really crazy. Um, it's un-American. It's unloyal to America. It's not showing great patriotism. Islamic Society of Greater Oklahoma City's Saad Mohammed says the faithful condemned the shootings that killed 13 people. No one sees real, true Islam. So we're in the spotlight as an evil, bad people. So we, we must be extra cautious. We must be on guard for who we are. Mohammed says Muslims are always on guard anyway, but with the recent tragedy, their community is even more worried and they're told to be more aware of their surroundings, whether they're going to work, school, or the mosque. Anyone who writes such thing, um, the evil is not in what they're writing about, the evil is, the evil is in within themselves. We're told members of the Muslim community will continue to live their everyday normal lives and will not compromise that for anyone. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jacqueline. And the healing process continues on Tuesday. That's when President Barack Obama will attend a memorial at Fort Hood.